<laughs> this is the new book, which I'm really excited about. And since it's a Hollywood book, I'm going to sit in this Hollywood there you chair. Go. Because I think it's Jane Mansfield Pink. I don't have a Jane Mansfield poem in the book, but it'll make me feel good. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this because I worked on it for, oh, I don't know, five or six years. I kept taking stuff out, putting stuff in, and rewriting, and doing all that sort of stuff, and they finally pulled it away from me, and I'm pretty proud of it. Um, the one thing, though, that troubles me, I guess, and I'm pretty, you know, I've been publishing for 40 years, so I'm very confident of what I do, I and mean, I just kind of know when it's good or bad, and when to keep it, when to get rid of it. But I had a little trouble with the title on this one. Usually titles are, are easy for me. This one is called, The Arrow That Is Hollywood Pierces the Soul That Is Me. And on some days, I thought that was just a brilliant title. You know, so <laughs> and then on other days, I thought, Jesus Christ, is that pretentious. And I would sort of go back and forth. I didn't know. So I thought, oh, come on. Somehow it came to me. and Let's just go with it. So one of the very first reviews of the book was from the novelist Matthew Rettenman. And he said he liked the book despite its clunky title. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm stuck with that. But, um, it's a short book. I'm not going to obviously read it all, but I'll sort of skip through it. it um, there's there's an ep, ep, uh, a preface and then an epilogue, and then in between, it's sort of like the history of Hollywood from silent days to almost recently. I walk from house where Carolyn Jones died to garage where Sal Mineo was murdered. Slope of hill to Jacaranda purple before grand view. This maze of dead ends would be film noir if morning weren't so technicolor. I walked these streets before I walked these streets in movie magazines and location shots. I know this history as well as my own because it is my own. Um, the first poem in the book goes back to um, a totally forgotten movie star named Mona Darkfeather. Uh, Mona Darkfeather, a lot of people think, was the first Native American movie star. Um, and I'm not even sure if any, I've never seen one of her films. I've only seen pictures of her. Um, and she would have been working in like the teens. So this is like early, early stuff. Um, and maybe the one reference you might not know, know is to something called, well, we've got actors here, you, you guys will know. Bol Armenia, do you know that? No? Bol Armenia was a, a makeup, a stage makeup, that they particularly used um, in early films because the, the, the faces would wash out. You know, they, they, just, they didn't have lighting down well yet and all that kind of stuff. And, but it tended to be dark, so if you use that, you. Um, uh, if you use too much of it, you would be playing a darker character. But anyway, Mona Darkfeather fills her possibility bag. Quills and movie stills, probably bowl Armenia. She never rode a horse before making a movie. Latina, born in LA, or Blackfoot princess. Her image fades.